Hello guys, welcome to the 28th session of the ASP.NET of Wave API 2. In a previous session, we have created the custom controller selector method for version e our API by using the query string. In this session, we are going to modify that selector for the custom header. We have already see how we can pass the header in the our request such as the accept and the authorization. We can also pass the our custom header. And by using those header, we can identify the version of the request. Let's switch to Visual Studio. Those three lines are used to retrieving the version number from the query string. Instead of this, now we are going to retrieve the version number from the headers. For this, I am going to comment it. And use the string variable name header name equal to x employee version and check that if the our request dot header contains that header name then version number equal to request dot headers dot get values of header name dot first or default let's save and run it Let's copy URL and switch to the push. Paste the URL, specify the app.employee. Header, need to specify x employee version 2. Click on send. You can see that it written the employee with the department name that is uh, employee version 2. Let's write to 1 and click on send. It written the uh, employee version 1. Let's remove and click on send. By default it will return the uh, version 1 because we are write it. Problem with this method is that if we are specify the our header multiple time like that It produces a 404 not found error. However, the employee version 1 exists. Let's debug the our request. Put the debugger and click on the send request. Step into the year. You can see that the version number is now 1 and after the statement it becomes the 1 comma 1 instead of the 1. Because of the it received the multiple header of the same name, it written the value by comma separated, and the version become the one comma one. And in the below condition, we are checking that if the version is one, then controller name would be that, and for two will be that. But version is not the one and two means it does not update the controller name, and the our default controller name is that the employee. So it will try to find the uh, employee controller. So it generates the 404 error. To solve that error, we need to write if version number dot contains comma then version number equal to version number dot substring from 0 to version number dot index of comma let's switch the pointer to the top press the f10 for step out you can see that the version number is a 1 comma 1 which was previously and now after the statement it become the 1 
after which uh, one equal equal one condition become a true and our controller name will be changed to the employee v1 which was uh, present let's press continue you can see that it written the uh, version 1 let's modify to the uh, 2 however it will return the data for the uh, version 1 because we are retrieving the uh, version from the uh, index 0 to the uh, comma it means that we are identifying the version from the uh, first custom header we just need to check the uh, request dot header contain the our uh, custom header name if the uh, content then we need to get the uh, value and if the uh, value contain the uh, comma then we need to substring it thanks for watching have a nice day